Georgia Southern Football 98. Brought to you in part by Coca-Cola. Always Coca-Cola. Mosier Ford Lincoln Mercury in Statesboro. The dealership that does business the right way. Bullock Memorial Hospital. The new vision for healthcare in Southeast Georgia. Bubba Burgers. You'll never bite a better burger than a Bubba Burger. And Sea Island Bank. The better way to bank. everybody, welcome to Georgia Southern Football 98. It's the Paul Johnson Show. I'm Scott Pierce along with Eagles head coach Paul Johnson. The Eagles are at home after a very successful trip to Chattanooga last night to continue their play in the Southern Conference. Today we face VMI coach. They come in here today. And what are we going to see from the key Dutch today? Well, I think they're trying to uh, be balanced on offense. They're both, uh, you know, running and throwing about equally. And uh, they've had a problem turning the ball over. And really they've moved the ball on most everybody they've played. The, the turnovers have hurt them and they put their defense in, in some binds and uh, you know I'm sure they're not playing as well as uh, they would have liked to have been at this point. Last week at Chattanooga we had some uh, big performances. Adrian Peterson another good day for you at running back and uh, what are you going to do today? You're going to concentrate on uh, mixing it up a little bit? Well we're just going to run our offense and a lot of it depend on how they line up and uh, you know, we've got to get the option game established, and uh, if they commit too many to the run, then we'll have to be able to throw the ball. Last year in uh, Virginia, it was a big day for our quarterback, Greg Hill, and he came in last year for Kenny and ran a lot and had a good day rushing. Right, he did. Uh, you know, Greg came in last year in the second half and really did some uh, good things to move the offense, and, uh, you know, hopefully he'll play well today. I'm sure that they're going to move around some on defense and give him some different looks, and, uh, you know, he's done a great job all year in reading the option. Should be another exciting Southern Conference day for Georgia Southern here in Statesboro. Don't go away. We'll have a look at the first half highlights. But first, the Coca-Cola play of the game. Welcome back to Georgia Southern Football. The Eagles playing VMI, a game here at home after going on the road last week. Coach, we lost a toss. VMI decides they want the ball first, and the key debts come out, and they decided they wanted to get serious real fast. Well, they uh, made a good decision. I mean, they wanted the ball. They wanted the toss and took the ball, and on the first play, hit a play-action pass and got 15 yards behind our safety, and a uh, big play for them. The pass play went for 50 yards. VMI is going to run a couple more plays. Then they're going to try a, a sort of a short lateral pass behind the line of scrimmage, and it's batted down, and we recover a big fumble. Right. Uh, we were in a blitz, and, and uh, our outside linebacker, Jason Neese, peeled off to take the back as he flared. And, uh, it's close, I guess. You know, he threw it behind him. It was a lateral, and we were able to cover it, and, uh, and that was a big break for us. Brian Wilson's going to recover that ball. Georgia Southern now gets the ball first and 10 at their own 40. Your first play, and you used it several times today, was throwing that screen pass over in the flat. Right, a little wide receiver screen, and we've had it in all year and just decided that uh, we needed to use it to Chris, and uh, we, Chris had some nice plays on that. Set up a nice drive. You mixed in some uh, nice running by Adrian Peterson. Benny Cunningham had a 17-yard run to take the ball down to the nine, and then you just sort of hammer it home, Adrian Peterson, for another touchdown. Right, we got in our uh, goal line set and brought Von Stellis Allen in, and we'll was able to uh, hammer it in off tackle and uh, get Adrian in the end zone. Makes the score seven to nothing, Georgia Southern. We're going to kick off to VMI. They're going to get the ball and they're going to move the ball a little bit and we're going to break up their last third down play and they're going to be forced to punt. This time we see a great individual play by Arkey Thompson. Right, uh, we had a punt return call and Arkey was to ensure the kick and, and rush and he beat the wing back inside and got a good block on the ball and we were able to recover it on their one yard line. Recover it down at the one. This sets up a very short drive. One play, one yard, three seconds. Adrian Peterson for another touchdown. Right. Uh, once again with our goal line uh, set, Von Sellis Allen came in and the guys up front on offense did a great job all day knocking them back. VMI is going to get the ball. They're going to have a drive this time. Our defense struggled a little bit in the first half. Really did. It was a little disappointing. Uh, you know, they put together a, a nice drive. I think about an 85-yard drive at one time and uh, 
you know, made 11 first downs in the first half and had 220 yards and give them some credit. But, uh, you know, I thought that uh, once we settled in and came out in the second half with our focus and played with uh, a little more intensity, uh, you know, we certainly shut them down the way we'd like to. On the VMI drive, they had a first and goal from the three. Couldn't get in on their first two tries, but they did score on the third one. That's going to make it 14-7, to Georgia Southern. We're going to get the ball back, and we're going to see some nice plays. We're going to drive down to the VMI 40, and then we're going to see Greg Hill. A little bit of a miscue. He lost the ball. It's intercepted on the two-yard line. Right. Uh, we were trying to run a post wheel, and it was probably ill-advised uh, pass, and probably not a real good call on my part. It's, we were running the ball, and uh, you know, you're just trying to mix it up some, and I thought it was there. And uh, it's something that we're going to need to do later on, and, and uh, Greg just missed the read. Fortunately, the defense held. VMI was unable to move. They're forced to punt. On Georgia Southern's next possession, we're going to see the option come out. You ran a couple of the twirl options today and seemed to get some good yardage off right. of it. We were able to mix in the options. We ran a lot of triple and then some uh, what we call our twirl option and the trap option. and uh, A lot of different looks. We even actually ran the midline a couple of plays. So, uh, you know, we mixed it up a little bit, and I thought our quarterbacks did a great job in, in reading it for the most part. Your quarterback also makes a good throw, a nice pass from Greg Hill to Corey Johnson in the end zone. Great grab for a touchdown. Well, Corey Joyner made a tremendous catch down there in the end zone. Uh, Greg was getting a little pressure off the backside, and, uh, you know, uh, he, he got it down there to give Corey a chance, and he made a big play for us. That makes the score 21-7. to Georgia Southern at this point with the extra point added. VMI, again, can move nothing, so they're forced to punt, and then we see another big play by Corey Joiner, a nice punt return, 50, 64 yards for the touchdown. A great return, and uh, Coach Giff Smith, who heads up our uh, punt return team, really has done a nice job this year. We've had several uh, really good punt returns, and Corey's special when he gets the ball in that situation, and when he hit the crease, uh, he was able to skate through a couple guys and, and really go to the house. For the extra point, 28 to 7, Georgia Southern. VMI once again cannot move the ball, they're forced to punt. Georgia Southern gets it back. Greg Hill's going to now run it a little bit. He had some good keepers there where he ran for some big yardage. Right, once again, we got the option going, and uh, Greg's done a good job reading it uh, all year, and uh, they gave him a little bit of room, tried to play him a little soft, and with him, uh, if you don't come get him, he, he likes to run it, so he will keep it. Your other big weapon at fullback also, Sullivan had a big day, 48 yards, and also is going to drive it down and get the touchdown. Right. Uh, you know, Javon's a good football player, and uh, he doesn't, he probably doesn't get to play as much as, as he needs to because Adrian Peterson plays that position. But, uh, you know, I've got a lot of confidence in Javon, and I know he he's, can be a good player for us, and we're going to need him down the road. Georgia Southern's going to hold on for the rest of the first half. Score is 35-7. to The Eagles are looking good in the first half. We'll see how they respond in the second half. Don't go away. We'll have a look at the highlights right after our halftime segment. From the cookouts to the socializing, Georgia Southern fans know how to kick off on game day. The Eagles football games cause a lot of excitement for the fans. People show up hours before to set up their tents and share their Eagle pride with family and friends. Jerry Holsenbach has been coming to the game since the Eagles started. The fun is getting excited, build up um, before the game, you get with friends and you uh, talk yourself in the fact that you're going to beat everybody <laughs> severely and it makes the games more exciting. Some fans, such as Ben Garvin, come out for other reasons. Like I say, my wife get into the tailgate part, I come for the game, but you know, I got to <laughs> keep her happy. Now, everyone has their own way of tailgating, but whether it's with two people or a hundred, food is a definite necessity. Hamburgers, hot dogs, steaks, all are popular among tailgaters. And what better place to eat them than in the shade? Tailgating not only starts off the day, but it ends it also, according to Benny Von Waldner. We just love it. We eat and we drink a little bit and have a good time. Waiting for the game to start, and then after the game is over, we come out here and celebrate. <laughs> We're behind the Eagles all the way. Eagle fans love to tailgate, but when the game begins, the fans pack up their things and head in to cheer on their team. Well, I've had a great time out here with all these Eagles fans today. If you want to do it right, tailgating's the way. Reporting from Georgia Southern, I'm Becky Mack.
feel pretty great, then I'm, I'm winning, so, you know, I haven't tasted feet yet, and hopefully we won't. Yeah, we did. Um, we saw them on film. They moved the ball pretty much um, really nice on everybody they played, and we just wanted to stop their big play capability, and they came out with the, the um, play-action pass, and they got a long pass on but we um, fortunately we stepped it up, and we did a nice job there. I, I mean, Adrian Peterson is an outstanding athlete. I take nothing from him. Um, Yes, he did get 100 yards, and myself, um, I think that's um, that's great. Then that, um, that just shows that with the um, rest of the teams that we have to play, that uh, they have something to reckon with with the uh, B-back crew. We got to really come out and focus and practice now a little bit more than what we've been have because uh, now it's, it's time to play. It's time for Southern Conference to live up to his name because now we got to play Western and then Eastern East Carolina. I mean East Tennessee. We got to play a lot of teams that's very tough now. Welcome back. The Eagles lead coming out of the locker room 35 to 7 over VMI. Georgia Southern's going to get the ball to start the second half. We're going to see the ground attack once again moving the ball. Adrian Peterson comes out and has a big first drive in the second half. Right. Uh, we were able to run some zone plays to Adrian and a couple of traps and just mix in the option and, and run our offense and uh, did a nice job taking the ball down the field on the opening drive. After a couple of first downs on a second and eight play, Peterson's going to take it 35 yards. Georgia Southern's going to move it down to the four, and then Greg Hill calls his own number on the draw and scores the touchdown. Right, a uh, little quarterback draw, and they actually had it played pretty well, and, uh, you know, Greg found a little crease in there and made a nice uh, nice run to get the end zone. Now, that's a good drive when you have 10 plays for 80 yards. You eat up four and a half minutes of time. You had a little trouble eating up time in the first half. Well, I think any drive you score is a good drive, and, uh, you know, it's uh, certainly if you could pick one, that's the kind you'd take. But we're not going to complain about scoring fast either. 42 to 7, Georgia Southern at this point. VMI can do nothing with the ball in the second half. They're forced to punt. Georgia Southern gets the ball back. We're going to drive down the field. We've got a new quarterback, quarterback in. He's got uh, Revere in, and he throws a nice touchdown pass to uh, Audrey Grace. Really, really happy with JR. I think that, uh, you know, the times this year he's been able to go in the game and play, handle himself extremely well. And I've got a lot of confidence in Jay right now. I think that, uh, you know, if we have to have him, I'm sure that he's ready to step up and play and played with a lot of composure and really did some good things to them. Nice 26-yard touchdown pass to uh, Audra Grace. That makes it 49-7. Georgia Southern, we're still in the third quarter. VMI once again cannot move the ball. The defense really came in and stepped up. The defense played great in the second half. Uh, and I think we held them to two first downs and, you know, probably under 30 yards in the second half. And, uh, and uh, it's great to see us see us play that way in the second half. We talked about it halftime, and I talked to them. You know, you got to play with some intensity and play three plays and get your tail off the field. I mean, that's the way you want to play defense and sit over there and watch the offense drive the ball. You've got a drive that's going to end out the third quarter, begin the fourth. You've got some good running, and you're going to see another fullback come in and score a touchdown for you and Carl Small. Right. Uh, Carl is the VMI killer. <laughs> I think he got him up there last year in Lexington, and uh, we joked with him all week uh, this week that they're going to have his picture up in the locker room. But uh, Carl's a big physical guy, and, uh, you know, when he gets in the game late after uh, the defenses are worn down a little bit, he punishes them. And I think on that first touchdown run, he just ran slap over the linebacker. You could definitely see the advantages of having uh, a fullback weighing more than 220 pounds on that 17-yard touchdown run. Right, and, uh, you know, Carl's got good speed, and, and, and Carl's a good football player, too. At this point, Georgia Southern is leading 56-7 to at home. VMI once again cannot move the ball. We also saw the defensive line block a lot of passes today. Right, uh, they were getting a lot of good penetration in the backfield and getting their hands up and uh, and, and batting some balls down, and that's an encouraging sign. Next possession, J.R. Revere is going to come in. You had a lot of, uh, especially as the score got up there late in the game, the quarterback ran the ball themselves a lot, and uh, J.R. was able to move the ball on the uh, keeper off the end. Right, uh, a little counter play, and, and we ran some of those with J.R., and and uh, he was able to get some yardage, made, made some folks miss, and uh, and really did a nice job in running the offense. Your VMI killer once again is going to strike. Uh, Carl Small is going to score you another touchdown. This uh, from about the four-yard line, and now you've got 63 points in the game, and you still got eight minutes to go in the game. Right. Uh, you know, we had scored, uh, I think, offensively on every possession in the game, but one, the one time we had turned it over, and, uh, and then right before half when the clock got us. But... Uh, 
you know, we had eight minutes to go, and, and they came out, and, and sure enough, our defense got another turnover deep down in their territory. You substituted at this point. You pretty much substituted all day. You have a, a lot of the younger guys in. Weathers now at quarterback. He's going to take the ball down, and these guys almost get it in themselves. Well, they really want to score. With some unimaginative play calling, it let's say that. It was very unimaginative <laughs> play calling there at the end, and uh, the, uh, you know, basically consisted of quarterback sneaks and, and Andre ran his own version where he'd step back and try to run the B gap. But, but uh, you know, those guys work hard and, and they want to score. And, uh, you know, it's, it was just a great opportunity to let them uh, have a chance to play. I think that the way the game was going, there was no use to try to score any more points. Well, that's the way the game is going to end. Georgia Southern big winners at home over the key debt to VNMI, 63-7 to the final. But, folks, it gets a little tougher. We go on the road next week. We'll talk about our game against the Catamounts coming up. Welcome back to Paulson Stadium. Georgia Southern big winners today. Roll it up to 5-0 now on the season as they beat the Key Debt to VMI 63-7 to today. Coach, great offensive output today. 605 total yards, your biggest of the season. Right. Uh, our offense played really well today. Our offensive coaches did a great job in getting them prepared for the game. And, uh, you know, we've got a lot of weapons on that side of the ball. And when they play well, they can be very good. It gets a little tougher for you, though, that now you go up to your alma mater, Western Carolina, to take on the Catamounts. They upset uh, a tough team uh, last week, but they kind of struggled this week, losing to Furman 31 to 7. Right. Had a big win two weeks ago against East Tennessee State at home, where we have to go play them. Mm -hmm. And then today on the road, they struggled a little bit against Furman from the uh, looks of the score. But, uh, you know, the very good uh, football team that played real well on defense all year, you know, depending on what happened to them today. And, uh, you know, it's a, a chance we're getting into the meat of our conference schedule. Okay, it's going to be a tough game. What kind of offense uh, will they bring into the game? Well, they're pretty much a, a pro-style offense. Uh, they've got a hoop, Brad Hoover, who's a great running back, who's rushed for a lot of yards, and he's been carrying the ball between 25 and 30 times, and uh, a young quarterback, and they've really been relying on their defense and special teams to keep them in the game, and, uh, and, and they've been able to win in our league that way. Let me ask you this. This will be your sixth straight game. You have no off weeks during the regular season except at the very end uh, before the playoffs. Does that affect your team, especially going on the road your first game on turf oh I'm not real sure how you know that's the way our schedule is so we look at it in a positive uh, you know we had a chance to hopefully heal some guys up today uh, a lot of our starters didn't have to play a lot and uh, you know hopefully we'll get some of our linebackers back next week uh, hopefully Daryl Morrell or Tony Butler and you know, if we don't, our other guys just have to come in and step up and do the job. And it will be a night game up in Cullowee, North Carolina. Georgia Southern against the Catamounts. It should be a great game. Make sure you catch the highlights if you can't make that game up in North Carolina. For Coach Paul Johnson, I'm Scott Pierce. We'll see you after the game. Georgia Southern Football 98. Brought to you in part by Coca-Cola. Always Coca-Cola. Rozier Ford Lincoln Mercury in Statesboro. The dealership that does business the right way. Bullock Memorial Hospital. The new vision for healthcare in Southeast Georgia. Bubba Burgers. You'll never bite a better burger than a Bubba Burger. And Sea Island Bank. The better way to bank.